Hello friends, welcome back to our channel DS Tech Mirror. This is part 3 of our Power Apps Component Framework series. In today's video, I will cover how you can create your PCF project that is Power App Component Framework project. So these are the basic commands which we are going to use to create our first project. In my last video, we have completed setting up our development environment and I hope you must have set up your development environment. As part of that, we have installed the Power App CLI, uh, which is a set of commands which we are going to use to create our first PCF project. So let's get started with that. So what I will do, I will come uh, to this slide later on. First, let's directly complete the hands-on and then we will quickly refer to this slide as there are not, uh, you know, many points over here. As a first step, in order to create our PCF project, what we have to do, we have to create one folder. This we can do through command prompt as well or manually. Over here, what I will do, I will name my folder as my first PCF. This is the name of my folder. Now I will now I open the command prompt from this particular directory. So what you can do, you can shift and right click and you can see if uh, the option to open the command prompt is available over here. Otherwise, go to the start button and type command prompt. And now, in order to go to this particular directory, I will use this command cd change directory. I will copy the path from here, cd space, and I will type. Now, you can notice I am in my current directory that is my first PCF. Now, over here, I will use this uh, Power App CLI that is pack to create my first project, and the command for that is pack PCF. I will copy this command from my slide. This is the command. I'll paste it over here. Now you can see pack PCF i9 and then the namespace we have to give. I have given the namespace as DS tech name of the project which you want to give or name of your PCF component. I will say my first PCF, which is the name of my folder as well. My first PCF and hyphen hyphen template field. In my first video, we discussed what are the two types of templates which we can create. One is the field component and another is the data set component. So this is a very simple command. If I have to explain you guys this command, pack is the power app component framework that is pack CLI, power app command line interface. PCF is power app component framework. I need, we are initializing or we are initializing uh, the creation of this project. Then we have to give the namespace. If you are not aware about namespace in simple terms, namespace is nothing. It's a way to organize your code. And you know, with the help of namespace, we can avoid any naming uh, conflict within our directory or within our code base. So I will, uh, you can give any name uh, for the namespace. I have used DS tech and hyphen hyphen name is the name of your component. So I've given my first PCF and then hyphen hyphen template field. This is the command, but before that, uh, let me just copy this. What you can do if you are running this command for the first time and which I have missed in my last video as well, you can update your, you know, power app command line interface in, in case if there are any new updates. So for that, what you can type pack install latest type command pack install latest either it will install the latest update yes over here you can see it is installing the latest package for me now this is done i have upgraded my uh, command line interface pack cli now i will just paste my earlier command okay i think i need to type it again so what i will do pack pcf i need hyphen hyphen namespace and another thing which I want to highlight over here is you can use this short form as well. Over here I have typed like namespace. So what you can do, you can even type an S. So that is also applicable. Let me again copy it from here. So that you can try at your end. Short form is also applicable. And let me just copy paste. And I will simply remove this template is field and learn PCF I will give it as my first PCF so pack I need namespace DS tech hyphen hyphen name 
so just make sure that you are not you know giving any extra white space or you're not truncating any uh, required uh, white space just make sure of that your pack command line interface is installed template is filled if you are creating a comma you know pcf of type data set so just replace filled with data set now i'll press enter what it will do i'll go to my project it should create the you know project all the required folders over here so let's see it's in progress and here i got an error so what is the error we'll see so let me review this okay i have to give one a white space over here so as i said we have to be you know make sure that uh, about this white spaces let me try again again it's an error so again there is some issue and let me try with this have space with this template as well pcf yeah yeah so now it got uh, you know successfully executed so there were two issues uh, before this double dash there has to be a white space so just make sure there has to be a white space after init before like this hyphen hyphen names namespace then there has there is a white space hyphen hyphen name and hyphen hyphen template i'll rectify everything over here there has to be a space then this template now everything else is fine the moment uh, this is executed let's see what actually happened inside this project directory which we have created by first pcf so there are certain files which got created and there is another thing which is mentioned be sure to run npm install this is a message or equivalent in this directory so after this you have to run the npm install because this package.json file got created uh, and in, in my next video i will cover everything what is this package.json file what is the emphasis of this what is the use but right now what we will do uh, just to you know explain in very simple terms all the required dependencies are defined in this package.json file so right now it has been defined over here if i just go and quickly edit so these are the dependencies which is required over here dev dependencies and normal dependencies and uh, the moment i will run npm install all these dependencies will get installed in my project folder so what i will do so what i will do i will run this command npm install or npm i will also work that's it so now all the you know uh, installation process will start it will take some time so meanwhile i'll pause the video just to show you you could see this uh, you know this process got started now it will take some time to get over and once this is done then our project will get created meanwhile in the slide we can see these are the basic steps which i have mentioned what we have to do we have to create a folder and then we have to mention this one command pack pcf init we have to give the namespace then name of the project and the template that whether it is a field or a data set that's it once this is done you have to run npm install and this npm run build we will run uh, to just see uh, if there is any uh, you know compilation issues in our project any build issues that's it so this is a very you know simple method as compared to the spfx this is relatively simple how we can create a project over here another important thing is uh, once this project will get created there will not be any you know react code will not be added uh, for example when we were working with spfx and we are you know using react as the framework so it will give us at least the basic code it will give us but right now in this case we will get a very you know plain simple project with no javascript framework so we have to install the other dependencies if we want react and fluent ui and other things manually once the project uh, it's created successfully so that i will cover later on so guys this npm install is completed now and to open our project what we can do either we can directly open our visual studio code and open this uh, folder or otherwise what i can do i can type this code space dot enter this will open my code in directly in v, uh, vs code which i trust and here you know i could see this is the project which got created for me this is the first pcf project which we have created uh, so this is the if i'll expand this my first pcf this is my manifest file this is my index file we will go through all these file in full and complete details in my next video i will cover each and every file in detail so guys this is how you can create your 
PCF project. So this is very simple. What you need to do, just create a blank folder. Then you have to run this command. After that, run npm install to install all the dependencies. And once this is done, you can run npm build. This is not needed now. This we will, uh, you know, see once we will do some kind of development. Then we will run this command to open the project. What you can do, you can type code space dot. This will open your project in VS Code. Now, in my next video, I will cover the complete uh, solution structure, all these files, and the basic out of the box code which we uh, which is there in index.ts file and other files. This I will cover in my next video. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. Till then, much love, keep learning. Thank you.